Isn't this desk sad? It needs some love. Please help me. Your desk setup has the potential to have a huge impact on your productivity and much like life, there is not a one size fits all solution for everybody. Now I've watched my wife struggle with her productivity for the past two years. So in today's video, we're gonna upgrade her desk setup. Guys, what is going on? My name is Mike, welcome back to the channel. I am a husband who likes to solve problems. Hopefully this does not get me in trouble in this video. So we are gonna upgrade my wife's desk setup. Now before we meet my wife and get an idea of what she does for work, I wanna say thank you to today's sponsor, which is Autonomous. Without them, this video would not be possible. Now the intent of today's video is to give you ideas, maybe how you could upgrade your own setup. This is not gonna be anything crazy. She does work from home, mother and caretaker in our house. So let's go ahead and meet my wife and learn what she does. What's going on guys, it's Mike. No wait, it's Laura Caputo. Um, I am Chief of Staff at the Turnaround Management Association and I'm a parent. And uh, I work in this little messy room um, because when you're a parent and you work, there's not really a lot of time to do things other than those top two. Hi, my name is Miles. I am, I'm mom. This is my mom, Laura. And I love my mom so much. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. High five. Uh, what type of work do I do at my desk? I love to make physical lists. A little bit old school like that, so I need some space to be able to get, whether it's my journal, agenda, whatever it is, and to be able to write out those things that I need to get done. Something about the way that I'm wired, I have to physically write it down for it to stay in my head. So I need desk space where I can do that and have my computer, have my monitors, have my camera, all that. And right now it's pretty cramped. <laughs> I have to juggle a lot of different things, whether it's being a parent or being chief of staff. And um, my space is probably limiting me, but I do so much that I can't even think about it. So just knowing that this one part of my space could help me optimize what I have to do, that, that's, that's exciting. I'm pretty short. I'm 61 inches tall, which I should find out what that is in centimeters, but um, five foot one is pretty short. And I have like this little foot cushion underneath because I'm always trying to figure out what's the best way to be comfortable sitting in my chair. So, you know, being able to stand up, being able to adjust where I am, I think will be helpful to me. So I think that uh, adjustable desk, standing desk would be really cool. Now my wife currently has this old wooden desk. It's gotta be about 10 years old and it's a glass tabletop. We are gonna change this for a standing desk. As you heard my wife, she's looking for something where she has a little bit more surface area to go ahead and work on. And she also wants the ability to, I think occasionally stand when she's working in her office. Not really being used to it. I don't know how that's going to kind of play out, but we'll figure that out once she has a few days worth of usage under her belt. Now moving on to the very foundation of her setup, this is gonna be her desk. And again, I wanna thank Autonomous for supporting today's video by providing the desk for me and Autonomous is giving an additional discount for people who are watching this video. If you go ahead and click the link down in the description below, you will get an additional 4% off your order with Autonomous. The desk itself is the Smart Desk Core, and this is a desk that has a 53 inch tabletop in white oak, and it has gray legs, which I think I'm a fan of. Now the white oak tabletop, she chose this over white or really any other color because when she's on a video call, she kind of gets afternoon sun and she didn't want the white to over reflect or overexpose her and wash out any of her skin tone. Now, looking at this desk, it was really straightforward to go ahead and assemble. It took me about 30 to 40 minutes, but I had to spread that time out between two different days based on my schedule. But once we put it together, it really was, I think, you know, just a matter of minutes to get it working and to get everything cable managed nice and neat. Now, if you are enjoying today's video and you wanna see more of it, make sure you click subscribe and click that like button. Yep, that one right down there. Now, I do have more content planned in terms of uh, what is coming new in iOS 16, iPadOS 16, macOS, all the new features, so make sure you are subscribed. You do not want to miss out on that. Now, in terms of her computer, her computer is going to be provided by her employer, and it's going to be a 13-inch MacBook Pro. It is made in 2020. Since it is an Intel base, it is an i5, and it only has two Thunderbolt ports on the left-hand side of the device with a single Thunderbolt controller. So we wanted to make sure that whatever we set her up with in terms of a display, that she had enough ports left over, which is you're gonna see that here in terms of the solution that we chose for her. As for a replacement monitor, she wanted to keep the price right around 300 bucks. So I did find the Dell SE3223Q, which is a 4K monitor from Dell, which has two HDMI ports and one display port 1.2. 
and it did work for this solution. Uh, it's actually a pretty good monitor. It gives you 1 billion colors. It gives you 187 pixels per inch in terms of density, and it has a 3,000 to 1 contrast ratio. It's not super bright. It's not super dense, but in terms of using it for a business monitor, I think this is probably the best one that she would have found in that price range, and it was on sale, so can't go wrong. As an option, we swapped her out to a 27-inch 1080p monitor from HP, but it turns out that the built-in webcam is not designed to work with Mac, so if she wanted to take a video call with either Skype or FaceTime, she could not. She would then have to use the default FaceTime camera, which that's something that we didn't want to do, so we sent that monitor back, which meant that we would then need to choose a separate or a dedicated webcam because she takes calls, you know, three, four, five times a day. Now, the heart of the connectivity is going to be found in the CalDigit TS3 Plus Thunderbolt 3 dock. This is a dock that retails for about $300, uh, but the reason why I chose this is because it does have native DisplayPort on that dock. So from the monitor, I have DisplayPort out into the dock itself, and then I have the dock connected to the computer via a single Thunderbolt cable, which is a 40 gigabit throughput with well, Thunderbolt 3, back to the computer as well as can charge it. It has a number of different ports, including two Thunderbolt 3 ports, one USB-A 3.0 port, one DisplayPort 1.2, an SD card reader USB-C 3.1 port, five USB-A ports that are 3.0, gigabit ethernet, and a 3.5 millimeter jack if she wants to ever listen to some type of music or some type of audio with headphones on. Now, being the great husband that I am, I did pick up on the fact that my wife has been eyeballing my collection of mechanical keyboards, so I decided to upgrade her older low-profile Sateki keyboard to a high-profile mechanical keyboard that she had liked. This is the Vistles V84, and it's about $110, has linear switches built into it, and it does sound... I would say very nice, which we're going to listen to right here. In addition to that, I did upgrade her mouse from the MX Master Anywhere to the MX Master 3 for Mac. Now, both those peripherals are sitting on top of an extra large desk mat that I found on Amazon. This is made by iLeadin, and the desk mat itself is 35 and a half inches long by 15 and three quarter inches tall. So it is quite large, and it gives her a good surface area to go ahead and use her mouse and her keyboard while she's at work, or if she puts them away, she can use that as a surface to write on, and she does not need to worry about leaving any type of marks on her desk. And in addition to that, I did tie the whole thing together by giving her a white home pod that was repurposed from another place in the house, but again, really tying in the aesthetic of her office. And that allows her to, one, broadcast her phone if she wanted to use that as a speaker for phone calls or for music. So that ties in and out well. Now, the only thing I kept from the original desk setup was this Tommins lamp, which I think is really nice. I've had this for, I think, four years. I don't know if they sell it on Amazon anymore, but if they do, I'll put a link in the description below for you to find out. One thing to keep in mind, if you are short like my wife, she's 5'1", or if you're tall, I'd say maybe taller than 6'2", you probably want to consider the SmartDesk Pro over the SmartDesk Core, and I'll tell you why. SmartDesk Core has a minimum height of 29.4 inches. My wife, who is short, even if she's in a chair that's raising her all the way up to its standard height, which is about 21 inches on the very high end, that is going to put her in a position where she does not have good ergonomics. So if she would have chose a SmartDesk Pro, that would give her a minimum table height of 25.4 inches or 25.2 inches, giving her a little bit more flexibility and allow her to put herself in a position where she has better ergonomics. Now, thankfully, Autonomous does have a 30-day return policy and they were able to exchange the desk, no problem for us. But that's one thing you want to consider. Now, on the opposite end, if you are a taller person, you're going to get four extra inches on the table height going from 47 to 51 in terms of the height of the desk. So giving you a little bit more range of motion, allowing you to be in the best ergonomic position. Guys, thanks for watching my video on how I changed my wife's desk setup. Let me know down in the comments below. What would you add? What would you change? Maybe you even suggest something different. I'm always looking for ways to tweak my desk setup because it's, again, it's all about being productive. My name is Mike. We'll catch you in the next one. I was about to go into like Little Mermaid. Look at this desk. Isn't it neat? It's